Hello everyone, welcome back. So we did capture Kenabum and Bibrakte. Probably I'm not pronouncing it right, but what can I do? Uh, yeah, so... Can we get some more units? Yeah, I would prefer to get rid of the Celtic youth. Maybe we should keep the sling... You know what, even the slingers are not so good. Let's get rid of those two as well. Yeah, and we should get our king some more Celtic warriors. As they are very good at uh, the start of the campaign. So we can go for accomplished skirmishers, formidable swordsmen, red forced ambushers and light cavalry masters. And I would go for formidable swordsmen. Let's go some, for some more campaign movement range. Yeah, you can see that the, the army that they had, uh, that Karnut has had, is in the north. Let's get our fine here. Uh, yeah, let's get our general at a higher level and maybe we should even considering bringing him back Nemosus, I think yeah in two turns he should be over here already okay um, let's end the turn I wanted to check the factions like the the other guy. <laughs> um, go for military access. Let's go for it. We want to get some more uh, diplomatic relations with the, the rest of the with the rest of the tribes. So let's recruit the following agents. Champion. Go for it. We have one more in all of the attributes. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm not sure what is the other. Like, it means that, she, like, the key that gets less attributes has like other stuff. Like in here, for example, more income from raiding and number of battle captives. They have like different trait. The other one have like the trait that gives her one more. Um, One more attributes, one more for all of the attributes. Let's starve them so we can get their settlement and get you back in here. Let's get him some Celtic warriors. And we should get the Devil's Free stables as well. We'll get the heavy horse. Ah, but it will re uh, reduce our public order. What about our taxes? Yeah, fine. Yeah, so it will reduce our public order, as I said. I don't know if it's a good time for that. Not at the moment, I think. What are we researching? Yeah, the Bronze Forge. Yeah, we said we needed to get like a better garrison. Um, yeah, so let's him, let, let him replenish for one more turn, maybe? Or actually, we can get them all together and see how many are we missing. We are missing two. Let's get you in here. Let's get rid of those levy women and get some more of those Celtic warriors. Ah, uh, he's already recruiting. Okay, so let's not recruit with him and just get him over there. Yeah. Let's end the turn. Just one second, let's build the pawn maker so we'll have like better public order and end the turn. Yeah, and again, I forgot to check the. No, I think diplomacy because we are. Um, we can't get a rebellion like a civil war done in the near future. We should get the champion embedded to our king. Research done. Headhunt. Increase in ranks. Scout. And the plague. Okay, so he got the plague. Not such a big deal. Uh, we should get him some more army. Three of those. One of that. Yeah, I'll get, let's get him a spear. A spear warriors as well. Let's see if we can do something like with our tribe. We can get him married. 
um, we are still protected for the next 11 turns so we can do all kinds of stuff like that without like secure promotion without worrying about the consequences reality wise we can declare air yeah let's get uh, insane the secure promotion thing why not flirt use charm and talent to impress other characters initiator plus five gravities per turn for two turns spouse minus 10 gravities per turn for two turns target spouse minus 10 percent minus 10 gravities per turn for two turns don't like it so much you can get insult to decrease a person gravities gravities but it costs the loya loyalty for target party for two turns and it and it costs 30 tons for us 30 gravities for us so i don't think it's a good idea you can go for entice persuade a member of another party to join your cause it causes like a reduction in the loyalty but what do i care about loyalty if we are untouchable in the next 11 turns okay he cannot get there let's see how far can the champion go okay so let's use our general to get here let's get the champion to watch his back yeah and they are starving because of our spies so let's let them starve some more yeah and here we have the plague as they said yeah let's go for some research uh, yeah we got this done which is nice but now i would really want to get some more public order and taxes so this one goes for wealth from culture buildings and minus 20 percent political action cost this gives us more tax rate let's go for the tax rate and i think somewhere in here we have also yeah like public order in here well this gives us more cultural conversion and law masters at which is good for the research in the future we should have it let's end the turn and take Namnetum um, Settlement. Yeah, the plague is kind of a pain in the butt. As cloud. Why not? A child has died. Not good for us. Yeah, we lost this child. The age of four. Nasty gang. <laughs> uh, send emissary. Give, give her more gravities and reduces the loyalty for other parties, which we don't care about. Or we can organize game, but both of them cost us a lot of money. So I, didn't I don't really want to spend all this money. We spread rumors. Minus one authority for target, minus three for target party for four turns. What does authority give him? No, I don't care about those stuff. Um, yeah, so where were we? Were we, we were in taking out. Okay, we had an agreement with them or something. Take out the settlement. Let's go for it. I don't like those levies, we really need to switch them with another unit. Ready. Blood and battle. Okay, so we do need to get over here. And we have like two passes that come from this direction. So let's divide our force Sons of into two. Warriors. Take this Rebels half ready. over here. And the other one over here. Get the spearmen just in case some cavalry will arrive. And our, gen our king should be at the back. Let's start. Yeah. 
So Levy Freeman, Garlic Warriors, Skirmishers, and Clingers. Yeah, we don't have any cavalry. We should get like some cavalry. Infantry! Orders! Aren't you? Forward! Warriors! Yeah, I think we should charge Levy in there. Orders! Get the Levy Freeman in the back. And our general too. To help everyone. I think the shield wall is a good one. Yeah, it's, it is better. Let's go and engage them. Yeah. Nice charge. You can see the, our entire force coming this way, and we can see some cavalry this way. Some light force. And those are spear nobles. Okay, so let's get our levies in here. And the swordman in there. And we should get some spear to throw the javelins. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we really need some cavalry to take out the slingers and the youth. Oh, so they, the cavalry came over there, this front, so we should now get all of our, um, like, do the 300 style of the, when the brave amateurs, as they called it, got into the fight, to just get, get them to, like, divide their forces, and then bring our Goldsman in here to engage their slingers because they can't really run anywhere. Okay, so in here we are doing really good because we are engaging this, the skirmishers and the, and the slingers in melee combat, which they cannot really do a lot about. Let's go after those slingers. Yeah, I want to catch them. Let's use just some of the units. Let's use three units and try to around them somehow maybe we just got them now okay somehow we would be able with three three units to surround them Javelins, if they can. Yeah, I think here is the, the best place for that. In 
for three. Yeah, I just want to get this force surrounded. Infantry. And I think we should be good. Like if we destroy them from the back, it should be like the best thing we can do. You can see now they're starting, starting to break already. Infantry! Warriors! Maybe we should just engage now. Yeah, I think yes. Let's engage and finish it. Yeah, the Celtic Cuse is putting us in the back. Let's get the levies to throw the javelins at them. Take them out. Okay. Get all of the army in here. Of the battle. So all of those are there. Let's get battle our. Yeah, those two units have a lot of ammunition. Just get in there. Yeah, let's get the general in. Yeah, they're broken. We're done. It's good that we have like a very nice relationship with the North, with the Northern tribes, so we can only focus on the Southern tribes. for us Warriors I'm thinking about getting our buy to maybe contact contact them maybe this way we can like um, trade with them a bit so yeah we can get like an addict and go for loyalty which uh, would not be such a bad idea. I think this. Yeah, turns remaining 10. Okay, so we have like 10 more turns until they will be able to rebel against us. But I think that the condition is so bad at the moment that uh, we're gonna have to let them rebel and kill them. Because it seems that like uh, our. The Seahorse tribe is really a problematic tribe. Okay, let's get to Spearmen. 
and some more Celtic warriors, I guess. Yeah, I guess this is like the good thing, the the bad thing to do. We have the the plague, which is quite annoying. Uh, I don't know if we need so much food. I think we're good. Whether I rather get rid of it. If we want something, we should get uh, this food. Like done. The fishermen's uh, huts. The fishermen's huts. Okay. Let's end the turn, I guess. Ah, yeah, diplomacy. I wanted to check. Yeah, so it seems like we are in a very bad shape, like around this uh, settlement. But we are having him reinforced. Maybe we should get a better garrison as well. I wouldn't mind the upgrading tables now. Even though it bring, it's gonna cause us minus three public order. Ah, uh, we didn't place the edict. Yeah, so uh, we will get also an extra one public order because of this temple. We should even upgrade it some more. Yeah, and I want to get our king to the south and we will see which... I think, we, yeah, we definitely need to get this uh, province secured. We can even confederate our allies. My people are in danger. Can you not join with us and attack these dogs? They demand we will join a war. Okay, we can do it. We have some force here in case they will try and come and take our settlement. Let's go for cavalry recruitment or experience. I think experience. Because experience will stay with us until the rest of the game and recruitment will be like one time. Research complete and war maiden get a level up. So let's get her the drill sergeant to get more authority, melee attack, melee defense and 40 to the experience gate gained per turn. Extra 40 I mean. We can go for a well. Gives us public order and growth. Or we can go for a pit mine. Artisan lodging. Yeah I don't think that this settlement is so uh well we might get attacks from here so maybe we should even get the horse pen instead of the cattle pans so we'll have like more garrison uh, yeah it seems like we don't have like enough we don't have enough uh, garrison in um in amnetu i think so anyway it seems like lo it's li it seems like it's not enough the amount of garrison we have here uh, because at some point we, sh we would be able to to get an attack from the north and I would rather have some uh, more Celtic warriors in here. And actually the chosen swordsmen are much better than the Celtic warriors so I'm, I am thinking about maybe even bronze workshop instead of the horn of the horn one make of the horn maker but we should see in the future. Um, Yeah, we can live with our general, with our king, I think. Like uh, public order wise, we are not so good. Let's see why. Buildings, characters, taxes, cultural differences, slaves, and provisional instability. Okay, so we should get it higher somehow. You know what? Let's go for the prime. Sacred enclosure. Yeah, let's get some more Grove of Osmerta, which will give us more public order. Not sure about that actually. Okay, in the meantime, until we will we will see what uh, and. Uh, until we will see what, what is heading this way, like wh what kind of relationship we will have with the rest of the tribes. I think we should um, go for econ economical buildings. Let's just hope for the best that they will not be hostile. So I think 
artist and lodging and then go for the public order no let's go for a well also more growth as well more growth and more public order yeah go for mineral mineral spring and sacred spring mineral spring at least after that we will see what we want um so yeah let's get our king in the south and maybe in the next turn we should get our general Ilia iliatus to the north and ox king to, to the south yeah let's check if we can get him like some more traits or or household maybe So let's end the turn. We get our king to help against. We try to take over Bodhigala. And I think we should get this um, general to the northern. We do not. Yes. To the northern part. Yeah, as you saw, that was a, what I was afraid of. Defeat the following army. Okay. Yeah, let's get our king a bit closer. Even though in this kind of force, it would be tough. Let's get our king like next to our ally. So it will be safe. And in here, let's get some more force. I don't really want the light force. We have like two light force. Light forces already, they are not so good. Let's get these tables at some point. Not now, obviously. Um, yeah, so I think we're good. Money-wise, we are kind of surviving. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the buy. We have like 2,500, they have 2,760, but we have like especially Celtic warriors, and we have the good spearmen, and they have they have the good spearmen, and some levy levy freemen that kind of sucks, and some Celtic slingers, which we have some light force against. Let's fight it. I don't like the light force. Really, really bad actually. But I'm really glad that we have a lot of swordsmen and they have only five units of them, except the general itself. Himself. Yeah, we'll put this German in here. Battle so in case the ready. cavalry will come first, so they will be able to charge. Group and ready. Uh, ready. Ready. Okay, three good spearmen in here. Let's put them behind Group the other spearmen. Skirmishers. Some skirmishers, I think, at the back. Warriors group. General Order. and light force. I do want them to come. Side to be ready to engage in battle. Get over here. The scorpion says in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you can see the cavalry heading first. I would prefer to use our good Gallic warriors. Get the warriors back. No, actually, they're not coming our way. No, our, our cavalry is hidden. 
So they're not coming after our cavalry. Infantry. Yeah, we'll have to see what they're doing. Okay, so they're trying to engage us. Ooh. Wow, the horses dealer really got a lot of those. Javelins. Yeah, so light horse and light horse as well. Yeah, Gallic light horse. So yeah, they should die very easily. Yeah, you can already see the their missile troops in front of us. And all of their infantry is coming toward us. So we should just get rid of them. Let's stop with throwing our javelins. And we should get rid of, of them and get out of here as fast as possible. Okay. Let's get four units back. And one unit should sacrifice itself. Yeah, I want to try them in the back. The swordsman to come forward. getting it a lot for the missile troop and we can't really get closer because of the freemen we have only light force which is kind of bad shot at yeah, our cavalry is way back there which is actually in a good position let's choose our general this is very good if we are getting them getting our javelins with their flank What about those units? Yeah, they're almost out of javelins, but we have the skirmishers. Keep on shooting. Yeah, still the levy is uh, um, defending their missile troops. So we got into a very nice and comfortable situation in which we have their entire flank open wide open to us. Let's go after the slingers, if we can get them. Okay, yeah, we did got them. Yeah, I can see one unit. It looks like we can take them out. Yeah, but the Levy Freeman is too close. So yeah, this is a very good situation, which we have to take advantage of. Ready. You have our spears.
Ooh. Look at this guy. He's got it. Out of ammo. Kills you. Okay, this le looks like a good uh, opportunity to take them out. Yeah, I want to like uh, encircle them, to charge them at the back, to the front and then in the back. Yeah, we are keep on throwing our javelins, but it seems like go for shield wall and go after them. We engage them already. They won't be able to survive it. Next. We should go for the same strategy, just getting one of our cavalry to charge at them. While the other one should charge from the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good charge. Our javelin at the back and get them to run away. We feel all of those are shattered. Yeah, what I like about the light cavalry is they have the javelins, so they are able to come from the back and throw the javelin to the enemies. Which one? Which one? Yeah. even considering charging at them but I think that the light horses are really really bad at charges their charge is really weak but we are out of ammunition anyway so we have to charge I 
Poison. Yeah, one down. I saw one of them breaking. Chosen swords. Okay, chosen swords. Yeah, two. Yeah, I think it's a mess out. Yeah, it is a mess out. Okay, we got it done. Warriors, Continue, let's chase them off. Yeah, let's get the spear warriors out of the way. Kill the bodies. Yeah, bloody battle. In here, the bo bird singing. Close victory. But we won. Uh, yeah, you can see that the general killed. 247 men before dying which is quite unbelievable I think we should try and get um, more uh, men shooting at him at the back to take him out like the generals just to take them out from the back I guess let's get money we need as every penny we can get. Mission successful, defeat the following army. Okay, so we got some bonus. Research complete, mint. Military tradition. Let's go for, we have, yeah, we said swordsman. Um, votive offering, plus five public order and plus five percent morale. Thirsty for battle. Yeah, let's finish yeah. it. Get moving. Now we can actually finish it with our king. And I really want to. The um, settlement. Let's get them together. And let's get you some more swordsmen. We have some money because of all of, all of our win, winning. Um, yeah, we said we want like the better shrine. With a small public order and more public order because of the edict. What else can we get? Yeah, okay. I think it's the most important thing now. Uh, actually, we have a very nice... Um, public order here now maybe because of the well as, as well <laughs> uh, yeah and the growth is correct growth rate 11 okay good for me yeah so now we have two armies which is good uh, how many turns are we protected for seven more turns ah actually we are not, not so bad minus six and minus ten we are like minus 16. If we secure loyalty, we get them to be loyal for five turns. And I think we can do it for every five, like every five turns. Hmm. Unassigned skill. I live to serve the people of Gaul. Yep. Uh, yeah. Another one of those. The, re the retrain rate. I'm not even sure that I actually want some more warriors. More of those swordsmen. Like what I really want is to get rid of those levy freemen and get four spear warriors. It's also cheaper with him because he's the king. And yeah, I will keep him for now. This general, maybe we should get uh, them to fight some of the to fight some of the fights that were <laughs> but spy. Our allies, like if our allies will fight some of the fights, they will be loyal, more loyal. 
Yeah, the spy. I always forget about the spy. <laughs> okay, they want to join I war. I call now for you to take them. to arms against these human wolves. Okay. Give Go for it. Military I say this. Okay. History there is no. a time. Definitely no. Yeah, child is born. Let's see if we can get. Sani or Iska? Okay, for some reason I can't see the diplomacy. Okay, this is really annoying. Let's see maybe if I can do if I press that and go back. Yeah. Just a bug. Happens sometimes. Yeah, so as we said, Sani. Let's see if we, we can have get need some of talk, I'm sure. Yeah. But we also need can good food, a warm fire, and warm actually get women. some money. Okay, All this is probably to Sani. Go. Now Noni. My friend, be welcome. The spirits of this place smart. Yeah. Okay, so These now we are actually very very good with all of the northern front. We just need to get our men to take over the southern front. Get this general. Get the king. Oh, can't reach. Can you reach? Can't reach. Okay, so let's put you in here. Get our king. Come over here. Uh, I don't think we should get some more force because it's already a, like quite a burden on our economy. Um, next time we should just get this, um, this um, provincial capital. Yeah, let's end the turn and conquer it as fast as we can. Udigala. He defends the alliance. Needs. That demands 300 we needs. Are. I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> Raise an army in Nemesis. Hey, quite an army. Besieging settlement. Ready for orders. Ah, attack. Yeah, now it's in our favor. Like how this exchange exchange everything. Um Naked warriors are probably very tough. They have some slingers. can siege them for a few turns but let's check what one second they have like four thousand men we have like four and a half thousand four thousand seven hundred to be exact and yeah i don't see any archers so it would be hard for them to burn our leathers uh, those levy freemans probably pretty sucks yeah the chosen swordsmen are kind of good there is a king in here and a general. We have too many spearmen actually. Like they have only one unit of cavalry, two units of cavalry. Um, let's fight it. To just get all of our men to one uh, area of the war. If they have a war, yeah, they have a war. It is a provincial capital, after all. Fog is good for us because we don't use any missile troops. Yeah, this area looks pretty good. 
can you even get a capture point and here is the victory point yeah this is actually very doesn't look so so bad yeah so four letters in here yeah let's check okay I don't want to engage their uh, the two towers of the gate Totally on the other side. Yeah, let's get all of you over there. Yeah, a lot of ships are coming. Maybe we should start already. What? Orders ready. Get running. Move it. Melee fighters ready. Gotcha. Move it. Forward. Yes, some more of those. You have our spears. Spearman to charge. Yeah, let's get the warriors. Yeah, that was a bit annoying. Yeah, let's get all of our swordsmen. Yeah, light horse are so garbage. Orders, Warriors. We are gold. Forward. Ah, noble horse as well. We just arrived. Yeah, I think this is it for the cavalry. I don't remember anymore. The noble horse. No Finish him. He's done. Get up there before all of the reinforcements will arrive. They're not so far already. They're almost at the beach.
Sorry, the general. Infantry! plan is to just get as many swordmen as we can up so they will be able to take the level freemen which is supposed to be very easy for our swordsmen Yeah, we need our king to be nearby for a morale boost. Yeah, you can see them pouring in. Yeah, I think those levies are really not a big, a, a big problem for our Celtic warriors. Kind of in a bad shape. Let's encourage them a bit. Warriors! Warriors! Yeah, and get some more swordsmen up there. Old swan warriors! Look at the back. I wonder if all of those are, yeah, the reinforcements. Yeah, that's why there are so many of them. Orders. I feel throwing the javelins the wall. Yeah. Like a 
flood. Oh, General is up there. As you say, as well. Put up the shield wall! Yeah, I think we should get some more men. Yes, yeah, swordsmen. In there. Where is our general? And the king. Yeah, so both our general and the king are both up already. Yeah, we are really pushing them back. Let's get the general to use more of his morale boost and his inspire ability. And the other general as well to do his inspire ability on him, for example. Seriously, how come we are not destroying them already? Looks like their morale is kind of marginal. Yeah, I think in here we got in a, like in a bit of a bad spot. We should get some more men in here. There is not a lot of strategy going on here now. Just pushing them back with all of our swordsmen. It's basically that they have, because they have like all those spearmen, we have the swordsmen, we have like a huge advantage. And also, spearmen are better than their spearmen. We have the levy. Yeah, the naked warriors are a bit tough. Yeah, we have to go up there. Yeah, but it's, it's not theirs anyway. You can see now it's like uh, natu natural, neutral. The more levy freemen are getting broken, getting shattered. Yeah, Celtic warriors in here, giving us a tough time. Yeah, King lost some men, actually. Because of the mess, I guess. Yeah, once we will get them out of the way, this unit, it will be easier to, to penetrate. Oh, maybe we just... Yeah, we almost got them. We just need to, if we will get this army out of the way, we would be able to get our forces to encircle them and get to the slingers and skirmishers and that's where we can like maybe get our mess out, like break the spirit. Like already I can see some, some of them are routing. Okay, good. You can see them kind of breaking. What are we, brother? 
Yeah, let's take advantage of it. We push in. Yeah, I want for King to not die. Yeah, we should get those slingers out of the way. You know how can how come they really like how can they actually resist the swordsman so much? Okay, they are about to break. Once they are, once the Celtic walls are broken, those two units, it will be easier to take out the slingers and then the Celtic warriors, the full unit in here. Now we have to get them out of the way first. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We're done. Back Let's go for the slingers. Get this. Ready. Yeah, like that. Actually, you can see those Celtic warriors are closer to break. I prefer to go for the Celtic warriors first. Coming. Just arrived. General. Okay. Oh, some more units now. Yeah, but those are kind of very freemen, so it's not really a powerful, not really powerful units. Let's try and take advantage of the situation and get our men in here. Yeah, this unit also has some ammunition left. So we can use it to, to break the Celtic skimmers and the slingers. Yeah, let's place them in here. And those two units should be over here. No, this one is out of ammo. Yeah, it's it's good that the computer don't let a, it doesn't let us rest, so it's hard for me to get our forces in a good position. Yeah, but I got this unit. Start throwing the the javelins and finishing those two units. This unit is almost done. Okay, done. Now let's go for them. The skirmishers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I found another unit with some ammo. Let's use it. Yeah, I find another unit with some ammo. Yeah, I would really want to be careful with our general now. With our king. Let's keep him back so he won't die. Warriors! Okay, good. They will bleed for us. We hunger for blood and battle. Yeah, another unit out of the way. I'm searching for units with some ammo. A good amount of yeah, like this is a good, good amount of ammo. Actually, the general also have like a lot of javelins left.
Okay, Celtic kills out of the way. Celtic slingers. Please die. Yeah, we just need to push them now. They will break. Yeah, naked warriors. Check uh, which unit have some ammunition, but we will need it now. Let's finish capturing the be the, the, the gate real quickly. Okay. Oh yeah! Now actually, the towers are going to shoot them as well. Yeah, you can see the towers also shooting. Yeah, those two have some ammunition left. Warriors, sons of Gaul. Warriors, move out. This unit is very small. But there were some other units I sent here. Warriors, they will bleed for us. Get over here. Warriors! Watch out! Stop now! Many warriors! Yeah. You see how it's getting stuck in them, but they don't die so fast. They're very tough warriors. Done. Okay. So, got another province. Another one? No, no, no. We just got the capital. You can see 300 killed by those two units each. Yeah, those are tough, some of them, but they got killed like some of them now. Yeah, kill them. Okay, let's occupy. We lost three units. Okay, so let's end the video now. I hope you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.